Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Tuesday, December 21st, the winter solstice, the day when the Earth's poles reach their maximum tilt away from the sun, here in Rim Country, that means today is the day with the fewest hours of sunlight and the longest night. And the good news is, you don't have to wait long between the beautiful sunrise and the sunset that we enjoy here every single day. And yeah, even when it's cloudy. Well anyway, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, Payson Police have come out with some rather disturbing information. They report that uh, back on December 4th, officers began investigating a series of fraudulent purchases made at the local Home Depot store in Payson. Those purchases totaled over $8,000. Investigators discovered an employee was involved in those fraudulent transactions. Well, later on December 12th, officers served search warrants at several residences and were able to recover many of the items which were fraudulently purchased as well as additional evidence of fraud scheme. Officers arrested Mercedes McCracken and Tony McCracken on various charges including fraudulent schemes and artifices, trafficking and stolen property, aggravated taking the identity of another, and other charges including drug charges. Payson Police ask that if you have purchased any items from these uh, from McCracken's online in the months of November or December, please contact Officer Farron at the Payson Police Department not emergency number at 474-5177. In other local news, well the holidays are upon us and there's a few closures that you may need to be aware of this week. The Russell Gulch Landfill in Globe and the Buckhead Mesa Landfill up north of Payson will both be open Friday morning, but they'll be closing at 2 p.m. Friday afternoon on Christmas Eve before a holiday weekend where the dedicated landfill staff, well, they get to enjoy a rather rare Saturday off with their families. Landfills will be closed on Sunday, December 25th, Christmas Day. Other Gila County offices courts and departments are all closed this Friday on Christmas Eve and will reopen Monday. Looking ahead to the New Year's weekend, landfills will remain open for regular daytime hours on Friday and then close on Saturday, January 1st. Gila County offices, courts and departments are all closed Friday, December 31st. That's New Year's Eve. Now if you need to verify uh, anything with Gila County government schedules to, to find phone or email contacts to reach certain staff. It's all available online at gilacountyaz.gov. Coming up in Rim Country weather, well, warm and dry conditions today and Wednesday uh, are expected before unsettled weather moves into Arizona towards the end of the week. A storm system will begin, uh, will bring in rather breezy conditions, cooler temperatures, and a chance for rain and even some snow showers up at the higher elevations beginning on Thursday. So how long is that supposed to hang around? Well, a complete report on your seven-day Rim Country forecast is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Bobby Davis with the Payson Golf Club. We're working to improve our business in the community of Payson, Arizona. We work with Tolucas and Brandt each week. They help us to move our business along with our accounting and paperwork. Thank you.
Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast. Pleasant, rather mundane weather is forecast for today and Wednesday as an upper level ridge over the southwest U.S. continues to provide above normal temperatures for this time of year as we transition from fall into winter today. Cloud cover overnight will further assist in keeping early morning low temperatures from dropping quite as much. Now, light winds can be expected for the next couple of days. By Thursday, there will be a transition in the weather as a long wave trough to our west will slowly push eastward, compacting of upper level pressure gradients and forcing the ridge, uh, the ridge axis to move elsewhere. Now, with the long wave trough being located just off the California coast over the Pacific, significant moisture will be advected into the region. Temperatures will decrease with this chance, uh, or rather change in weather, and that pattern uh, is going to be changing to a more seasonal norm. Several short wave troughs will make their way past northern Arizona, with the first beginning on Thursday. Surface winds will strengthen out of the south-southwest on Thursday afternoon. Strong, gusty conditions, especially along the high terrain, will continue into Saturday morning. Precipitation enters the forecast Thursday, with really the best chances for precip being in the early morning hours of Friday along the upslope and over high terrain. Currently, the majority of the precipitation is forecast to fall as rain, with snow only accumulating in the highest terrain initially. The snow level is expected to start near the 9,000 to 9,500 foot level before lowering down to the 7,000 to 7,500 foot elevation by late Friday evening. However, the probability of precipitation will decrease around this time as well, and that will be leading to minimal to no snow accumulation in our more highly populated areas. Now there is still potential for adjustments to the snow level forecast, which could be very impactful to holiday travelers. Unsettled weather will continue through the weekend and into the start of next week. The upper level trough will become rather stagnant as it sits just off the Pacific coast. Now what this will do is it will help to maintain the moisture over Arizona, keep the wind gusty and allow for precipitation chances to remain in the forecast and that as multiple short wave troughs begin to impact northern Arizona. Now, As of right now, forecast models indicate disturbances decrease precipitation chances Saturday into Sunday morning and again beginning on Tuesday. Now it should be noted that there remains some inconsistencies between the models on the position of the long wave trough by the start of next week. The, what's called the GFS and GEFS uh, forecast models tend to keep the trough west of Arizona, allowing for more unsettled weather, while the ECMWF and EPS models regularly show the trough moving eastward, limiting precipitation chances in our region. While the short wave trough next week indicates a better chance for snow accumulation, high uncertainty remains around this prognostication. So stay tuned, we'll keep you more updated as it gets a little closer. Meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today should look like this. Here in Payson, it'll be mostly cloudy with calm winds and a high near 60. No precip in the forecast till later this week. Tonight, it'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 37. Up on top of the rim at Clintswell today, well, they'll be looking for a high today right around 52 degrees, and the low up there tonight should drop to around 28, so not nearly as cold as it has been earlier this week. Now down south in Tano Basin, 68 is the forecast high down there today, with their low tonight uh, down in the basin, a mild 44 degrees. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Get out there and Make it a great Tuesday, and happy first day of winter. Ho, ho, ho.